So we're gonna look at the uh, the tape machine from Tone City now. Um, there's no produced track because uh, I'm using it in all the Tone City videos. So if you want to see it, I just thought we're gonna skip that and um, do a short and quick demo. Uh, I'm going into the Cafe Lime, which is a BB kind of a an overdrive distortion. Very very cool overdrive. <laughs> distortion, what am I talking about? And that's going into the tape machine. Um, I'm also going through a timeline for some loopy stuff. Um, and then we got it's going into the uh, Carl Martin Custom Shop 50. That is as boutique as it gets, and it'll show you the true sound of any kind of equipment that you throw at it. So, um, this is our clean sound that we got, which I'm playing with my. Timbertones, Woody kind of pick. Very cool Timbertones, British guitar nerds. So, of course, we got the very beautifully hand painted by myself because it was ugly as fuck, so I made it uglier as fuck. Um, it's a beautiful guitar when you play it. Um, Frank, Gem Frank Gambali, early 90s Ibanez FGM something. Really cool guitar. It's so warm, really. But it can also sound like this. So we're gonna hit the tape machine. question is, does it really sound like a tape echo or does it sound like an analog echo? It's close. Tape echo has more wow and flutter, more... I mean, it has the tiniest bit of modulation happening, but it's... Tape echo mo modulates more because of the motor swirling around. And also, with the tape echo, I like the several tape heads, which you don't have. So, is it an analog sound in delay or a tape sound in delay? I would say think that it's a floaty kind of analog sound. So maybe tape machine is the wrong name for it. You can hear how the low end disappears and the high end rolls off a little bit. With an analog echo it might be more high end roll off. But you know what? Just for shits and giggles we got a timeline here with a tape echo in it. Hmm. Let's compare. What do we have here? Let's get more repeats, more mix, a little bit down in tempo. Well, there's this, high, this crizzle in the high end. There's, there's some noise happening, and that's usually associated um, and wanted with an analog delay. So let's do this again. We compare. And it's true bypass, so you hit it, it's gone. To hear that, I'm gonna get the modulation down here. So 
So that filtering is really more associated, if you ask me, with um, an analog style delay. But it's definitely an analog style delay that has a lot of uh, character to it. So much for that. We're going to go and uh, tweak some... Something, looping something is probably stupid, huh? Because I need to play in the right tempo. things today. Congo, come here. Sit, sit. Why do you always run around the tripod? You're not supposed to do that. No. Congo, go away. What else can I say? Um, I can say that, uh, yeah, well, you, know, you hear that now. Yeah, hello to my two cents in the backyard. Backyard? Backyard? No, the backyard. In the yard. 
on a yacht? I don't know. Uh, the Tone City tape machine. Um, it's a really cool delay. It's sturdy, good build quality. Very cool, kind of just straightforward green. Simple design. I bitched about this in all the other videos. I will again. The knobs, I had to draw in the lines. I don't like it when a pedal is not usable in the way that, that the user interface isn't helping you. If I have to look, what's, what's the setting again? That's stupid. Just draw in a line with a marker. Sit in China, do it by hand. I don't care. Or just buy them with lines. Or they exist. I've seen pedals that have the lines drawn in on the mini knobs. Other than that, this is a, a very atmospheric kind of ambient delay. Let's call it ambient delay. It's It creates more of a pad of delay than a um, than a precise kind of a... Yeah, it's very hard for me to describe this. Um, it says tape machine and I think that's just freaking wrong. Okay? Because that leads you to believe that this is a tape delay. And it is not a tape delay. It is an analog delay sound. Probably achieved digitally, not with a bucket brigade um, chip thingies. That's all I know. I'm just throwing out some shit that sounds like I know what I'm talking about. Um, but it's definitely not a tape delay sound, okay? I know tape delay sound. I love tape delay sounds. This is not it. This is an analog delay. So don't be misled by the name, even though it's cool. Um, but it's a, it's a unique analog delay that's more floaty and more ambient uh, than others of its kind and it's under 100 bucks very sturdy very small and i think tone city uh has a good product on their hands i have realized that depending on what it's fed by what distortion pedals in front of it it does change the sound a little bit of the distortion so it's not a transparent whatever you pump in comes out just plus the delay pedal but um, the, you have to test it with your gear and if it works with your gear this is a good addition to it uh, your gear and yeah you know okay congo what do you think what do you think come here no you want you want to you want to bring me this come here oh my god what what do we do what do we do you really... doggy see ya so obviously there's more Feel free to click on any of these videos you see here for some excellent demos made by me and my beautiful team.